What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV, man. So let's just go ahead and call this shit right now for the Philadelphia 76ers. Because, look, man, <clears throat> at some point, you just see a pattern. You see a pattern with certain players, with certain teams, over a period of years. And it gets to a point where you just know what's going to happen. You, you can't say it with, with exact certainty when it's going to happen, how everything's going to end up precisely, but you have a general idea about how these things are going to play out, all right? So let me just talk about the Philadelphia 76ers. They're 7-7 seven and seven right now, all right? They play the Milwaukee Bucks tonight. Now, I think they're at Philly. I wouldn't be surprised if Philly won tonight, okay? I wouldn't be surprised. Um, Joel Embiid, this is how I feel about Joel Embiid. He generally has strong uh, starts to the season when he's motivated. So barring injury, I wouldn't be surprised if he's playing his ass off the rest of this month, December, going into January, right? So I, he might end up being having a campaign similar to how he had last year. We, you know, he's averaging 30 points a game, 11 rebounds, and, you know, shooting well and playing great on both sides of the floor. But we know what happens with Joel Embiid. Because James Harden isn't there, and, I, and sometimes I'm starting to think he's doing this semi-consciously on purpose. Not perhaps totally on purpose, but semi-consciously. I, I think sometimes at this stage, James Harden does not really want to be a leader. He's never really been a leader. And, um, well, I, well, I won't say that. In Houston, he was kind of a leader. But now he doesn't want to be a leader. He wants to be that number two guy. Okay? Uh, but he's not going to play that role. So the team is Joel Embiid's, which Embiid is comfortable being with that role because he was in that role last year without Ben Simmons, but it takes a toll on him. He's going to start getting hurt the latter part of the season. He's going to start having injuries like he always does, and he's going to start fading. All right? James Harden is going to come back within a couple of weeks. Sometimes he's going to look sensational. Sometimes he's going to look like he's aging. All right? And as the season progresses, I suspect he's going to have more and more games where he looks like an old James Harden rather than the Harden of old. And then come playoff time, he's going to fucking choke because that's what James Harden does, and that's choking the playoffs. If they have a series where, look, if they have a series in the first round where they actually advance, James Harden's going to have at least three games where he looks like shit. In the next round, when they get eliminated, if it's four games to fucking two, if it's six games, five games, James Harden will look like shit with one good game. That's James Harden, okay? As far as the record is concerned, I think the Sixers are going to have a surge going into the end of this month and, and December. I think they'll wind up with something like 52, 53 wins. Um, you know, I think Ter Ter uh, Tyrus Maxey, is going to have uh, a career year. Tobias Harris is going to be up and down because he's that guy who is now the odd man out with the big three of, uh, you know, of uh, Embiid, Harden, and Maxi taking over. So Tobias Harris offensively is going to be kind of struggling. Um, and there are going to be times down the stretch, I think, when they – lose ultimately in the playoffs, Doc Rivers is going to be in the hot seat. I just know what's going to happen because, look, insanity is thinking that something's going to happen differently even though you're doing the same thing over and over again. Insanity is expecting a different result when you do the same thing over and over again. And we just see the same shit from these players. So I don't expect anything different. You know what I'm saying? That's just me at least. That's what I expect for the Sixers. Uh, sometimes they're going to look great. Sometimes you're going to see these stupid-ass comparisons by Kendrick Perkins that they did the new Shaq and Penny or Shaq and Kobe, whatever. And in reality, you know, they're just not destined 
to be champions. Hall of Famers, yes. Champions, no.